And you can see the weathered overlay. And this overlay is actually in white. So I'm gonna move it over to the side on the artboard here so you can kind of see what color it is. So the one thing I wanna do is I wanna mask off the overlay so it actually punches through the graphic. This would be really handy if I was doing, say, a direct-to-film or DTG print where I wanted the overlay to knock through because I could just save that as a PNG file. I have a print-ready file with the overlay knocked through. Now for color separations, we do have to make a decision here because the overlay is currently white and we did have white in the graphic. And so for printing separations out, if we turned off that white separation, that's also gonna knock the white through. What we're gonna do in this particular graphic is we're gonna use an overlay, but we're actually gonna print the white. And you notice when I converted the colors over, the white came into a pale gray. I'm gonna leave it as a pale gray because it's gonna be easy for me to preview the separations if that's actually a color. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off the overlay. So what I wanna do is select the entire image I'm gonna go over here to transparency, and then I'm gonna select make mask. I'm gonna uncheck clip, and then I'm gonna click on invert mask. And so that we can see that it's actually knocking through, I'm actually gonna go in and change the color of my artboard. So we're gonna go over here to file. I'm gonna to go to document setup. I'm gonna change the artboard color to gray. I'm gonna click on okay. I'm gonna click on simulate colored paper and I'm gonna click on edit artboards. And so you can clearly see that this is knocked through. So our file's ready to go. We can preview the color separations by just going over here to separations. I'm gonna click on over print preview. I'm gonna make sure show you spot colors only is selected. I'm gonna turn off CMYK and now we can clearly see the spot colors in the design. The transparent white is the overlay that's already been knocked through. Um, I can turn off these separations so you can actually see the separations on screen. And so one of the reasons I'm using a color other than white for the white ink is just so I can clearly see the separations. So once we're ready to output, go to File, Print, and then choose our separation options. When the Print dialog opens up, I'm going to highlight Output. And here's where I need to select a printer. So in order to output color separations, I'm gonna need a printer that has a PPD file. So you'll notice right here, this is my generic Nitro PDF creator driver. And I have a variety of printers right here. I have a, my home printer, which is this OfficeJet. Notice I don't have a PPD file. And so it's not giving me the options to select separations. So I'm just gonna use a generic PostScript driver here. And I'm gonna select that. And under PPD, I'm gonna select PDF9, um, PPD. This is just a generic driver. And so you'll notice once that PPD is selected, I get the options for color separations. And you notice it says composite, and then it also says separations host-based, and then in-rip separations. In-rip separations means that your separation software is going to create the separation. So you're actually going to output a color separated composite image the RIP software, when you open up that image, it will actually separate onto separate pages. If you're gonna let your computer do the separation and you're just gonna output to separate pages for every color in the design, just click on separations host based and you'll get solid black imprints for the film positives for each color in your design. You're also gonna notice the option for positive. We want that selected. Emulsion up right reading, we want that selected. And then you'll also notice all of your postscript data here for halftones. So if you have any halftones in your design, this is where you'd go and change the dot frequency and angle and LPI for your halftones. You'll see that the separations that are gonna output are gonna be this Pantone color here, the 5463, the 663 that we're using for white, and then the orange 021. We're not outputting the separation for the weathered overlay because we've actually knocked that through the design. So that will be knocked through each color separation as we output. Now, if you have a print driver selected, you'll be able to go to the setup functions here to set up any kind of settings that you want for that film output. Make sure that your print page matches the artboard size within Adobe Illustrator. And when you're ready to print, you can either select print through the setup or you'll have a print function here. In this case, I'm just creating a PostScript file and I would just click on save. So this is the basic process for creating and outputting color separations in Adobe Illustrator. It's pretty straightforward, but there are some nuances, and I hope you picked up some of those little tips and tricks along the way as we went through this sample project.